It is a great day to have a great day. Today I want to talk about fear and faith. Fear and faith are the two things that stand in the way of you living the life that you want to live. Fear and faith are a package deal. The presence of one doesn't mean the absence of the other. You're either accepting your fears or you're facing your fears. You're either living your faith or you're chasing your faith. It is a daily battle between the two. You're either accepting your fears or you're facing your fears. You're either living your faith or you're chasing your faith, right? Fear never goes away, right? People who face their fears, they do it on a daily basis. Every season has a different fear that you have to face, right? And it has to become a habit that as soon as you fear something, that's the way you need to go, right? It's a, it's a great GPS. And the funny thing is that fear only has one trick. Fear works on something that has no proof, right? Fear just presents the illusion to make you fear that it may not work out how you think it may work out or you may think you're not deserving of what's on the other side of that fear. It it holds you in a state of procrastination. It holds you in a state of being mediocre. Right? That's all fear is. That's that's all the power is just an illusion. It's in your mind. Faith, on the other hand, according to Hebrews 11, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, right? So it's just the opposite of fear, right? It's proof of something that hasn't happened yet. It's proof of something that hasn't happened yet. So you just got to have a little more faith than fear to be able to act on what it is that you desire. And faith is something that you have to live out on a daily basis. Faith can never be mastered. You can never catch it. You must live it. You must exercise faith. It's like a muscle. It's like a muscle. It don't matter what you did last week. It don't matter what you did last year. It don't matter what you did when you was in great shape back in the day. If you ain't exercising your faith today, everything else up to that point is irrelevant. It's a daily battle. It's a daily struggle when faith and fear collides. And like I said, the presence of one doesn't mean the absence of the other. If you got fears, that's absolutely normal. If you're not facing your fears with faith, then you have an issue. We have an issue. We all face this struggle daily, and I don't want you to think that you're alone. I don't want you to think that, you know, that something is wrong with you because you have fears. If you got fears, to me, that's a sign of, that means you have big dreams, right? If you If you're setting goals and you're not scared that they not might work out you're not scared somebody might think you crazy then you ain't got big enough goals man your goal should bring fear but you're you got to have enough faith to still face those fears and still be able to pursue those goals faith is your greatest weapon versus anything faith is your greatest weapon And the problem arises because we often live fear and chase faith. That's the issue. We often live fear and we chase faith. Which translates to living a mediocre life and always chasing greatness. You need to be living faith and facing fears. I hope this message helps someone today. With everything going on, man, I know it's kind of hard to stay positive. You know, I struggle with it, um, but you, you got to find something in your faith, man, to to just have a little more faith than fear to keep acting on your goals and your dreams and to love people and for your goals to be bigger than you for their because when your goals and your faith is bigger than you, man, you can accomplish more than you ever 
imagine you could. So just have a little more faith than fear. Encourage somebody today. Love somebody today. And just know it's a great day to have a great day. God bless you all.